Uh, my name is Marios Lucas. I'm the chair of uh, Department of Anatomical Sciences at St. George's University in Grenada. Uh, and we're based in Grenada for, uh, since 1976. Uh, I'm there since 2005. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a very interesting journey. Uh, I didn't supposed to go to anatomy, I supposed to go and do clinical medicine. Um, but I was very lucky to meet uh, great people in anatomy such as uh, Gene Colborn, Peter Abrahams, Vid Prasad, uh, Stephen Carmichael. Uh, so they, I pursued the career into the anatomy by teaching and then research, uh, then more into, more into education, uh, administra administration obviously. Uh, so right now the um, full-time uh, administrator, educator, anatomist, all those three things combined. And researcher, obviously. Grace Anatomy Review it was uh, my very, very first idea that uh, I had back in 2002. Uh, I got materialized in uh, 2009 when the first edition came out. We were very pleased with the book and we were very pleased with the international sales and the sales in the United States. I think students, they really like to have a large number of USMLE type uh, questions available for practice. Um, so within the last four or five years, we identified obviously mistakes that the book had and we correct them. We had more ideas of how to make some more complex questions. So the new edition right now contains uh, a new uh, questions based on uh, categorized on complexity so they start as we say from easy to difficult um, it has more embryo questions um, uh, we categorize the questions based on what we say first order second order third order based on their complexity uh, we increase substantially the imaging within the atlas the, within the question book uh, so I think the second edition will be a much more improved uh, product uh, that it will serve both I uh, think the students and the, and the, and the educators uh, to provide a better learning environment for the students. I have to say we are lucky there are not m many books, maybe one or two uh, other books in the market that they directly compete. Uh, I think number one is the, the, the authorship. We have great co-authors in the, in the book. That all of them, they are really experienced educators and uh, very good on clinical medicine. Uh, the, sec the, the second thing is our book has substantially more, uh, substantially much uh, larger number of questions than the competition. So the second edition will be around 1,500 questions, while I think the competition is less than 500. Uh, that gives the opportunity to, obviously, the students to explore more and practice much, much more. Um, imaging is a key. We have a lot of radiologists that um, they wanted to contribute to the book by giving us very nice cases of uh, images that we can use in a multiple choice question format. Uh, so all those together combined creates a much, much uh, uh, better book of course, Elsevier, I mean, that's, that's a key. I, that goes with, without saying. And the online resources for this book, it's, um, number one, they are linked to all the online resources that Elsevier offers. So if a student wants to take some online questions, when it goes to for USMLE, he can easily draw questions from our book. Um, yeah, obviously very portable. Uh, iPads, uh, tablets, everything, everything, our book can be downloaded there. And also, we try to, uh, to create a system that uh, if somebody wants to download only cardiovascular questions, they can download only the cardiovascular questions. So it becomes, um, it has a very good searchable format. So by becoming easily searchable, I think we'll offer the students Again, the flexibility to choose what they really want to practice rather than the entire uh, component uh, at once.